Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Thank you for the very warm welcome and reception. It's a privilege to be here. Pleasure to be here. We are very, very happy to be here. And let me say that uh, since I am such a, this is the farthest I have come to give a speech. In India. <laughs> so there was one episode in a movie of Amitabh Bachchan, and uh, you know what? These people used to give false evidence, jhuti gawai, right? So Amitabh Bachchan was giving some jhuti gawai because he was paid to say something wrong in the court. That was his character. So he is there and he is saying, Murari Lala? Yeah, I have seen Murari Lala. So the advocate asks him, what is his height? He says about, because he has never seen Murari Lala, right? He says about uh, this much. He says, everybody laughs. Advocate says, don't you know that Murari Lala is actually a hen's name or a chicken's name? So he says, oh, but I didn't even put my second hand yet. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say that the father is there in it, that department in India is there, right? I mean to Spain to speak. If you see YouTube, you'll find all these speeches. Everything cannot be said here. Everything cannot be said in one speech. But let's have fun, right? So let's try and understand each other and let's try and uh, reduce the volume. Reduce. You can try and uh, invite, inculcate, ingrain, absorb, whatever you like. Let something come into your heart and mind which will help you like. I have come from Chandigarh. Chandigarh is part Man has also come with me from Chandigarh. We have come to help. We have come to tell you a few things about life skills. Because you are younger than us, even your professors are younger than us. So therefore, probably, uh, yeah, I am the senior most in the room. And man is not the senior most, of course. I am the senior most. Ladies are never senior most, right? But man and I, as she rightly, as rightly said, we met in NIT Kutshin. She was two years my junior. Now don't get any idea. <laughs> Take a break, switch off our mind, body, rest, 
go back again to the we can. So there is a story about woodcutter. Woodcutter was to cut wood. Somebody told him from morning 9 a.m. to evening 9 p.m. whatever wood you can cut is wrong. Tomorrow. He said okay. He starts cutting wood madly. 4 o'clock in the evening, 5 o'clock in the evening, he is dead. So his axe is blunt. He is totally kaput, finished. But he is cutting. Somebody comes along and says, what are you doing? That is cut more wood. He says, why don't you take a break and sharpen your hands? You know, no, 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 I can't do that. I have to cut more wood. So by 7 o'clock he collapses and has to be taken to the hospital. Now, what are we doing? Trying to cut more wood. Do we sharpen our hands? Not at Not very well. What is sharpening your hands? Giving your mind, body a break. What is that break? That break you might think cannot happen in college, exams, assignments, this, that, not possible to take away. Right? When you get into corporate life or entrepreneurial life or work life, you think it can happen there? If it can't happen in college life, it can't happen at that time. Can it ever happen? You think it will happen after retirement? By retirement, when you retire, you think life will be less busy than it will. 2018, we have enough busyness happening, enough things to keep us distracted. By the time you grow older, things will be far more complicated. Maybe they become simpler in some ways. But what do we have to do now? We have to analyze our mind and give it a break now. So let us analyze our mind. What are we thinking all day long? Where, where are our minds? What, what occupies our minds? So you are about 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 max? Could be 22 max? And B tech students must be. Are there any M tech students? B tech, right? So 22 max, 21, 20. When you be 30, some other things may occupy your mind, maybe different from now. Right now it must be tutorial, submission, exam, assignment, home, money order, not money order, PTM, right? What these are the things which occupy. What else occupies our minds? How am I looking? How are people perceiving me? What is that person thinking about me? What does my professor think of me? What does my friend think of me? What does my auntie think of me who lives in the neighborhood? Right? That auntie always tells you, Vita, I know you don't study hard enough. You're not doing very well. Must, your personality has a problem. You must be more confident, must be this, must be that. She has a particular opinion about it. So she may be thinking in her mind. What are we doing? We are worried about all these things. So are they worries in life? As long as we are human beings, are they worries? Problems? Is there anyone in this world who doesn't have a problem? Jab tak human life hai, ek cheez guaranteed hai, problems ko hongi. Lekin kya abhi khatam hongi kabhi? Abhi nahi hongi. Lekin uska maza kya hai jab khatam hi ho jai problem? Problems ko hongi. Lekin hum chalte rehenge. We will keep thinking, flourishing, thriving, throbbing, being successful. We will keep doing that. Do you think the most successful man in the world is the one who had no problems? So the saint said, a smooth life is not a successful life. When you become... I think it's the saint But, but, when you become super successful, you have no burdens on your mind. So I have a story of a Golgapa. Call it money boy hai, kuchka, 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 kuchka. Some place gold gappa, some place money boy, place the same. Doesn't matter what name you call it. It's yummy and I like it too. Right? I don't know whether we get this here on campus. Can we have some after this? Okay, sure. We, we store we get some. Okay. We won't have a competition. Just four, five. The gold gappa in Chandigarh, near school, 
Chandigarh is a very up market place. For capital income, very high. But there is a, there is a migrant population, labor population, fiction population, every type of person is there in India. There is a gold kappa who caters to the low end population, the low income population of Chandigarh. He stands on the roadside. He has a cardboard box. He has a jar of water. Not very clean looking, but he does very well. Sells maybe about, makes about 3-400 rupees a day. Which is not bad, not so good, let's say 300 rupees. We have about 10,000 rupees a month, let's say. He has the broadest smile in Chandigarh. Broadest smile in Chandigarh. I will cross him in my car every day. I see him. Why does he have the broadest smile in Chandigarh? Chandigarh is a high society kind of place, not all of them, some of them. So they don't even smile openly, right? You have seen a beggar child, sweet urchin, they smile, they laugh when they are happy. Oh, uninhibited. What happens to the society? We restrict ourselves. Somebody is looking, we don't smile at all. When we are standing in the front of the mirror, we make funny faces at our teacher, at ourselves. But when we are in public, we are proper. The British used to say proper. Right? So we basically are conscious of society, conscious of our burdens, conscious of various things in our mind. And then Gurta Bhavala, uncomplicated. 300 rupees, two daughters to marry, two sons to marry, two, four children to look after. I met you one day. Finally, I stopped there. First I used to worry, how will I have this gold of I might fall in? But one day I wrote an article about him called the Gold of Man and I laminated that article and gave it to him. Took a picture with him. He gave me a million dollar smile. Now what is life? Where do these smiles come from? Is Mr. Rahmani or Mr. Modi or Mr. Trump? Or even Mr. Kohli, Virat Kohli. Do they have the protest plans? So what is success in life? What is the goal of life? Let me ask you now to give me one word answers. What is the goal of life? Anyone who can raise your hand and tell me in one word, what is the goal of life? Happiness. Happiness is the goal of life. Ultimately, you are engineers. The lowest denominator, the thing which gives us true substance in life is happiness. Whether it comes from eating a pani puri or receiving a PhD in whatever we've done. Ultimately we are seeking what? Happiness. Success also gives happiness. That's why we look forward to it. Satisfaction gives happiness. Some people say satisfaction. Satisfaction is not the goal of us. Inner happiness. Now let's talk about this inner happiness. My job is to motivate you, right? To tell you that I have been through your journey. I also used to think in a particular way as we, when we were student. Ma'am and I were not always travelling around the country giving speeches like this, right? We were sitting there on the benches, listening to someone. I don't know whether you had people coming and giving you motivational speeches. Nobody used to come. But at that time, you were not even needed so much. Why? Because today there is more stress, more competition, more expectation. And we have one very difficult person in our lives. <laughs> which we didn't have. This chap is the enemy within. He's in my pocket. But he is a difficult customer to get rid I tried to keep him at an hour. Man also tries. But we can't. We keep, you know, checking. So in 2018, it is more difficult to attain a clear mind and inner peace. More difficult. That inner peace is what gives happiness to the whole of the Not car, flat, degree, money in the bank, foreign travel, great comforts, they don't give happiness 
ultimately. They give happiness, but it's not permanent lasting. What gives happiness? The inner attitude that I will be happy come what may. Kuch bhi ho jai. Mene kuch ho jai. Dekh lege? Kuch bhi ho jai. Sanskrit me bote titiksha. English me bote equanimity. Equanimity means difficulties or successes I will be the same. Even minded and calm. Even minded and calm. That is the goal of the world. Are we getting somewhere? To Samadhana? All okay? All of my English is okay? You can understand. I don't know Samadhana, Samadhana, I don't know. But you understand English and Hindi. I am sure. Right? Now, Rajnika. Rajnika is a superstar. When Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he picked up the receiver and he had two missed calls from Rajnika. <laughs> Rajnika and Amitabh Bachchan were having an argument. Who is more popular globally? If you have heard this joke, please raise your hand. No, okay, good, I can tell you. So, Amitabh Bachchan says everybody in the world knows me. Rajnika says no, everybody in the world knows me more. He says, Amitabh Bachchan says, does Tom Cruise know you? He says, yeah, he knows me personally. He says, let's fly to Beverly Hills. Where is Beverly Hills? California, Los Angeles, go there. They fly early morning or late night, reach early morning, 6 baje, Tom Cruise ki bail bail. Tom Cruise comes out, very high, rubbing his eye. Oh, Rajnika, you have come? Come, come, we'll have coffee. We'll have coffee, breakfast, Tom Cruise like breakfast, whatever they have. Amitabh Bachchan is quite impressed with Rajnika. He says, Rajni, do you know the President of the United States also? He says, yes, I know the President. That time it was Barack Obama. I don't know who the President now. So I can't mention the name a little while, but you know this. Anyway, so Barack Obama is on his rounds. And these two gentlemen are standing in the line up and bought tickets to enter the White House. White House may say, yeah. Barack Obama sees them standing in the line because he's there to walk. He says, oh, Rajni, why are you standing in the line? Please come and have a garden coffee with me and bring your tall friend also. Tall friend, who's going to know that? The Bachchan is quite humble. Humble. Humble to be the D. Now he comes inside and they sit together. And Kavita Bachchan says to Rajni Khan, he says, do you know the Pope also? He says, yes, I know the Pope. So they go to Vatican City. Where is Vatican City? Do you have a cuisine club or something? You should have cuisine. General awareness is very important. This is a side advice I am giving you. Whether you are preparing for civil services, not preparing for civil services, you are preparing for life. General awareness. Very good. So, Vatican City, they go and there is a mass that you In that mass, there are 10,000 people gathered in the square of Vatican City. And the Pope is to appear on the balcony. He appears and gives a sermon. So Rani Gandhi, Amitabh Bachchan, we, Amitabh Bachchan says, now how will you meet the Pope? So many people, how will you go? He says, don't worry, you can't go, I can go. He waits Amitabh Bachchan, wait in the crowd. He goes up and appears on the balcony with the Pope. And he waves from there, comes back, Amitabh Bachchan has been. Now when Amitabh Bachchan has been, he wakes him also, come on Amitabh, I know I'm so famous, popular, I've heard of, but you can't faint like this. He says, no, no, that's not why I fainted, because you appeared on the balcony. He says, an Italian gentleman was standing next to me, who said, who is that on the balcony with Rajni Khan? <laughs> you understand your joke, right? Now, what happens? This shows, what does this show? This shows that you can be as successful as Pranika and Amitabh Bachchan. But it shows a few qualities. Let's just learn from it. Of course, the purpose is to be cheerful when you tell such stories. 
You can't have a dull speech with no stories. But we also learn certain things. Who is the more humble of the two? Who is the more humble of the two? Amitabh Bachchan in this case, maybe not otherwise, I'm not taking any sides. In this story, more humble is coming out to me. Amitabh, he is also a superstar. He is also a superstar. Who has more drive? Who has more networking skills? We can't do. These two qualities, let's talk about them. Humility and networking skills. Do we need them today? We need both. Humility is something which adds to your stature. Doesn't take away from your stature. So when Apoor very graciously said that I was not troublesome to him when I invited me, there were some impediments, some difficulties along the way, but we took them in a stride. We are so happy to be here. We are delighted to be here. So this, this is something which I am working on. Do you think I am perfect? Do you think I follow everything that I am telling you? Not everything. We try to follow quite a few of them. We try to follow a lot of them. All of us. So if this is the perfect human being with all positivity, humility, happiness within, inner peace, and this is the most imperfect person with anger, negativity, he has restlessness, deceit, thinking only selfishly. Where are we? We are neither here nor here. We are not perfect and we are not 100% imperfect either. We are somewhere in the Are we more towards this or are we more towards this? We have to analyze our time. So humility is something which is add to our peace. Forgiveness is another quality that will add to our peace of mind. Somebody said something to you two years ago at the bus stop. Something negative. You are still thinking about it. You have not forgiven that person. Who is suffering? You are suffering. He is not suffering. Your mind is going over that again and again and again. Forgive him. Forgive her. Forget him. That is the Bible also says, forgive somebody 70 times 7. Bible says. That means forgive somebody, I know it is 490, but forgive somebody endless. Endless. Keep on forgiving until I can unburden yourself. Unburden. Humility, forgiveness, these are positive. Is anger a positive trait? It's a negative trait. If you lose your temper 10 times a day, 10 times a week, you are living in excessive negativity. Yes, you will feel bad at times. You are human. You cannot be that perfect guy. But let's be 70% of the way, 80% of the way there. Anger management is something you will have to combat in your career these days. People get angry. They suffer. Their performance decreases when they are angry. Do you think Virat Kohli is a better batsman now or before? His mind is calmer. When he's batting, he told you I'm a cricketer. When he's batting, he's balanced. So whether he's on the back foot or front foot, he's balanced. Right? So if he's balanced, that means his mind is balanced. Of course, he got married, that tells him to be calm. <laughs> and he's laughing. And he's laughing. The thing is that we have to learn from people also. That's the next one. Inspire yourself through something. Somebody has to inspire. Something has to inspire. If you get up in the morning with a dull routine, feeling okay, let's do this, let's do that, let's go through the motions of life, that's not life. The Americans say that life is not about paying your bills and time. Leave a mark. Inspire yourself to do well. So now there is no contradiction between what I said earlier and now. I said inner peace is the goal of life, happiness is the goal of life, money, you are going to ask me that question some of So let me ask, try to answer it before, but you can ask me again later. Money, success, ambition, driving yourself to do well in your career is not contradictory to inner peace. 
when we overdo it, the craze for money, the craze for something, the lust for something, being absolutely obsessed with something to the point of making a life hell, that is the difficult part. So the goal of life is to be successful in this world as an engineer, as an inventor, as an entrepreneur, as a research scholar, as a management graduate, whatever leader. But all the while, to have an attitude like the which man? Going up. Like the going up. How much time do we have now? How much time do we have? Ten minutes. Ten minutes okay. Five minutes. Then you can ask me two or three questions. I'll be happy to answer that. Right? You can think of your questions. Right? Whoever answers, ask a question, you'll get a big round of applause. I don't have any chocolates, otherwise I will give you a chocolate.